Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I'm coming back at you with another spawn vid and this time we're going to be talking about the class spawns that just came out. The class spawns is one of the cheapest, most um, safest, most free to play spawn you can literally think of when it comes to weapons and possibly armors. Armors are a bit more iffy but armors as well at least to a certain extent. Compared to the weapons, weapons are uh, by far the best choice when it comes to doing the class spawn. But anyways, moving on from there. Why am I saying this is for 80 gems, you're getting a cost 33 guaranteed or higher. If you actually look at the list, there's only like uh, three, I believe. Let me check again. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. There's four 33s, the rest are third. There's one 34 and then the rest are straight up 35. So you do the math if you want to. You're going to see a lot more 35s or 34s than 33s in the spawn by far. It overwhelms the amount. But keep in mind, 33s will have higher rates because they're the lower cost and what's so not. But anyways, you're guaranteed a cost 33 ultra rare that is a fuse four times. A fusion is a pain and a fusion helps with gear score even more. The max in fuse is five times. Once you hit to that fourth infusion and fifth infusion, it starts becoming a pain and it's going to be to that fourth infusion at least. So all you got to do is worry about that fifth infusion and legitimately you are good. Um want to have a like like actually like summary about the fusion and the materials and what's so not i'll just link it down below so you're all good to go for that you don't have to worry about that whatsoever at all but anyways moving on from there on top of it being um having like a cost 33 ultra rare that is fused four times obviously you're getting to choose the weapon of your class so you're guaranteed to choose the weapon you're guaranteed to get the weapon you want well not exactly the weapon weapon you want but you're guaranteed to get a weapon of your class at least so that is very very nice there is no spawn other spawn in the game besides like doing treasure metal exchanges or like metal exchanges where you can absolutely choose the weapon of your class so that is extremely nice because the class spawn is the only raw one where you can do that and it's going to be fused four times so imagine if you get a 35 cost if fused four times it's guaranteed to be the weapon of your class so you're safe on that by far so yeah that's why i'm saying like the class spawn is super nice you could spawn multiple times and legitimately not get the weapon of your class this one guarantees a weapon of your class it's going to be a fused four times if fusion being a pain especially at the fourth and fifth level and it's going to be cost 33 or higher guaranteed and on top of it you're having more rates on the ssrs so you have an eight percent rates instead of a six percent chance to actually get more ssrs and if you get more ssrs they're only going to be of the spawn you chose so if you chose like the bow and gun you're going to get only ssrs you have an eight percent chance to get ssrs that are bows and guns if you chose that you got 8% chance to get SSRs that are bows and staff. Save goes for armor. Armor is going to be a bit iffy because they literally range from 33 to 36. And as you can see, there is a lot more armors out there. They got both the male and the female edition on top of that. Uh, weapons only have uh, one edition. They don't they don't count as any gender. Um, the armors, on the other hand, have a female and male edition. Pretty much an attack and magic attack edition. So, armors are going to vary a lot harder considering they have a lot more. Like, they have more sets in here. And on top of it, they're going to have double the amount because they have a defense and magic defense edition of each and every armor out there. So, armors are going to vary a lot more as you can see right there but they're also going to be cost 33 at least ultra and they're going to be infused four times and if you manage to get another ssr obviously it's going to be from this list right here so that's very very nice and of course you have a chance to get more than one of these they're going to be ssr editions though so they're not going to be ur you're only going to get one ur probably unless that like 0.10 kicks in which i highly doubt it will but yeah that's there so that's very very nice okay so i personally don't recommend doing the ssr rates boosted whatsoever at all i would just save your gems for something that's especially if you're free to play i just don't recommend it instead i would save those 20 gems for the class spawn instead because it's going to be a few more times like if you if you're unaware of my fusion like you you should definitely do this if fusion is going to be a pain and you're just skipping nearly almost all the process of infusion in general 
So yeah, I, I've, I've heard like there's so many spawns out there. Step up monster class. Uh, we got SSR feed your gear piece, the awakening orb, and the ethers you could grab. Just so many other spawns out there that you could spawn and save for, and they're gonna be reoccurring. They're gonna be like here each and every other week or each and every week. And we got treasure spawns. We have so many other spawns out there that can help you rather than the SSR rates boosted. So if you're thinking about doing the SSR rates boosted, I personally don't recommend it. It might help out, but for the most part, I would just stick with those types of spawns instead of doing the SSR SSR rates boosted please stay away from the SSR rates boosted by all means necessary okay so moving on from there we got new gear so let's actually talk about it and hopefully it's going to be within here yes it is okay sweet okay so we have um divine divine physical testaments or divine testaments let me let me rephrase myself there we got divine testaments they pretty much legitimately legitimately work the same way as your physical magical assault testaments or whatever testaments they literally work like those except this these have a critical chance massively increased if they manage to proc i'm not sure the exact proc rate of these but they should be a bit higher than the exclusive class skills so you're going to be seeing them more higher than the exclusive class skills i'm assuming they're actually going to be ironically around the same as your regular testaments so that's very very nice if you have like just double xl testaments these which should definitely be like um you should definitely replace these if you manage to get these just by pure luck over those because these are going to be more helpful towards that scenario and situation especially if you have like the um if you got already the uh what's it called if you have the uh, constant effect um critical chance ups right here it's gonna help even more and your critical chance is gonna be increased even further from that just by having these on and if you have the art ofs as well like these right here the art of fatalities it's gonna help even more past that point to be fairly honest so yeah um you're gonna have a lot of critical hit rate <laughs> to be fairly honest if you manage to combo with those four so yeah there, there is an option right there to be fairly honest it, it, i'm like it really depends personally i think you need to stack more things for the added effect from these testaments to really be like working and what's not it can definitely work out to your benefit but it's not gonna it's not gonna be like a good individual at least i think individual uh added effect itself okay so let me actually go over the abilities and what's not from these they are 35 costs they're not the highest cost anymore looks like they're still going slightly below like 35 cost and what's not the the highest is 36 cost weapons and 37 cost armor so keep that in mind and now ever since they added the six ring right the six ring has percentages so now the um the split or the diversity between each and every cost weapon armor and monster is going to be even greater because now they're going to have even more percentages on and since that like the split like the power gap between each and every cost is going to be more split than it was before now that they have more percentages on the skill tree because percentages work around the flat stat and considering that 36 or higher than 35s 36 are going to be getting more off the percentages including how much they have compared to 35 costs so there's going to be a gap but there's going to be a stronger power gap between each and every individual cost now now 36s are going to have more than 35s did before this six ring class came out because of these percentages so just keep that in mind the power gap between each and every individual cost is going to be stronger now thanks to them coming out with these percentages so that's something you might want to be aware of now that paid wins are going to be getting even slightly even more gear score and they're going to have slightly even more of the advantage gear score wise okay so moving on from there let's actually go back to the <laughs> topic that we were actually going to be talking about the abilities on these okay sonic smash over here is not bad it looks like it's going to be increasing your character's critical hit chance by 10 for 100 well not 120 seconds but 20 seconds again it's only going to be useful if you have like the critical chance ups and you have other stuff that really helps critical proc besides fatal other than that i can't really vouch for this to be fairly honest at all personally i think this alone like this weapon alone the uh glimmering katana of legend is enough if you have two critical chances and a um a glimmering katana of legend i'm so sorry and if you attach sonic smash on i think that's enough for your critical at that point you're pretty much playing game seriously i think you are when it comes to critical hit 
chance to be fairly honest i think you're going to be getting a lot of critical hit chance i'm not 100 sure but it should be, I, I think it's going to be higher because it massively increases critical hit chance you're going to have the art of fatalities on possibly if you're a late end game completely and you got a critical chance raw by 10 percent like guaranteed by 10 percent so it's going to be very nice and then we got divine speed right here reduces ability kill on times except for certain abilities for yourself by 20 seconds and then added effect increased cost recovery speed by five for 40 seconds personally i don't think this is going to be as useful anymore because the cost recovery speed might be useful right but now that the six frig is out unless you're going to be like way behind six frig wise they have quick raid right here a quick raid pretty much reduces ability cooldown times by 25 percent for 10 seconds and the maximum cooldown time you could actually get is 50 percent so that's why i'm saying it may not be as useful on lancer i mean it was a nice try and all it definitely would have been useful right if before the six ring but now that the six ring is out not really all too useful anymore sadly for the lancer so again the lancer is getting as <laughs> as the rest in peace lancer honestly <laughs> it's it's i wouldn't say it's falling behind but it's not getting anywhere near meta to be fairly honest anyways moving on from there we got the glimmering bow of legends triple snipe ability power 80 damages one enemy with physical or magical damage three times at random this is gonna be one of those i wouldn't say it's gonna be the best skill in the game right but compared to some of the regular um some of the attack moves that gets replaced like the archers like regular attack like the regular attack that every class has right the archers exclusive skills like the special abilities this one's more on the list just because most of the archers moves right are either support moves like nullifies debuffs nullifies not nullifies but removes debuffs removes status alignments or they're either moves that have like the same ability power but they have a success value so they have a complete chance of missing this one doesn't and this one hits three times so that's actually a total ability power of 200 well yeah 210 210 guaranteed to hit so that's very very nice and let me look at the cooldown time for these because i didn't really get to check the cooldown time for these either to be fairly honest okay so this one is a four cooldown time with a cost of 11 so that's not bad at all to be fairly honest seriously it's not it's pretty good and what about the sword i didn't really get to check the sword that's not bad either five ability cooldown time that's about as much as regular attack and just two more costs of regular attack is not bad whatsoever and i i like this move right here it does like um Signal like nearly twice as much damage ability power wise as a regular attack so that's very very nice okay so moving on from here since i'm minus since i'm here i might as well be talking about them right here any move that replaces the attack for the mage is going to be useful because the regular attack has only physical damage it's only using physical damage and the mage doesn't use physical damage at all this one has an ability power of 120 damage is one enemy with magic damage and then heals yourself for 20 percent of the damage dealt now it looks like they're pushing mages to be more resourceful for player versus enemy by far because this is definitely something that's going to be really good for player versus enemy it possibly even player versus player not 100 sure um it's not going to be as useful for player versus player as it is for player versus enemy because pretty much now like mages are self healers at this point they do damage and they heal themselves they already this is like the second move or the third move they came out with where mages legitimately heal themselves and they do pretty good ability power as well so I'm not going to say this is like going to be the best move absolutely in the game to replace the regular attack, but this is definitely a useful move to replace the regular attack by far because there's some moves out there that are just, they're better than the attack because anything's better than the attack, but they're not the best choices to be fairly honest. I wish I had more options and this is, I guess this is one of those more options. I think I've seen better moves before than energy drain, but energy drain definitely takes the cake and it's only going to be four, four ability cooldown time and six cost. So it's actually a brown a regular attack as well for double the amount of ability power and you're doing a self heal so that is super super nice and then we got the clerics cost sharing right here recovers 10 costs for all allies excluding yourself this is also going to be nice if you don't have a healing ability if you don't need a healing ability and your regular move or you're not trying to reduce ability clan times i think it's like a uh, mind over body or something like that this right here could also be helpful as well because it recovers head costs for our allies excluding yourself especially if you're dealing with like a boss said your team might be close to unison but you just need that extra cost to really get it going this right here could be a useful move because it could help with the dps of your um loop that you're farming with 
And if they're able to use moves, they're able to get used and they're able to get used you just makes the war go around. So yeah, from there, they should be at least good for a few seconds, if not after that and what so not. So yeah, that's a very nice move as well. And then we got the armors right here. The armors offer Fatal Testament Double XL. I personally think now that they have Fatal Testament Double XL, I personally think just having two Fatal Testament Double XLs or honestly four or three would be a lot better choice than worrying about these critical chance of because they got fatal testament double xls now and the only thing that's going to change between the fatal testament xls and the double xls is obviously the rates because it's a critical hit chance guaranteed and critical hit has a fixed um, ability power buff so that's really the only thing that's going to really change and personally myself i use a lot of fatal testaments i use like over i think four i use four fatal testaments they don't have a bad proc rate with four of them so considering three of them is like xl and then one of them is double xl it's not bad proc rate at all so personally i think that fatal testaments would be a better choice considering now that they have double xl i think fatal testaments would be a better choice to actually throw on considering that it's guaranteed critical hit all you gotta do is make it proc it's just gotta proc more and then you're legitimately set and yeah, from there, you're legitimately good. So Fatal Testaments, I think, would be a wise choice. Any DPS class could use Fatal Testaments, and it's going to really rock with the Archer and Soldier now with the Six Ring abilities. By far, they're going to get the best out of this. Oh boy, it's going to be beautiful for those classes. But anyways, moving on from there. So yeah, these armors are definitely great for um, DPS classes, by far. If you do damage, you definitely want to see if you could get them. I'm not sure how that's going to play out because they have a large reward pool and you could easily assume without a doubt that 33 cost armors are going to have the highest rates and they have a good amount of them in here. So keep that in mind. I personally, thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching, that's all I gotta say for this class bind, if you don't have a lot of uh, 33s, 34s, and 35s infused, I definitely recommend looking over this, even if you have a lot of 33s infused, if you don't have a few 35s infused to the 4th level, I would definitely think about doing the spot at least to get a few of those 35s or 34s, and then I guess from there... You can look at the armors as well because these armors are very nice. I'm not guaranteeing you'll get them. In fact, you may not get them at all. You may just straight up deal with 33 cost armors from here. But I don't know to be fairly honest. I never really done the armor spawn. But yeah, that's all I gotta say for this video. Again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. I hope this helped out. This is the Azeroth and I'm out. Peace.